Just uh, give him a quick hand real quick. All right. So who's ever reading, grab me on Colossians 3 and 17. All right, what, what you are witnessing is you are witnessing the rise of our people, finally. You, you're, you're learning what's really been going on, right? Give me Colossians 3 and 17. The and book of Colossians. And, and the thing is, we're, we're going to be coming out of here. Christianity, what they do is they grab the mic, they uh, take one scripture, and then they run around, and then the, the drums start playing, and everybody start dancing, and before you know it, everybody's shaking, and then before you know it, everybody's at aha. Nobody read anything out of here. That's what we're going to do. That's the difference. Bring that out real quick. Right. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 17. Read that. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Word and deed, meaning we're going to be doing it out of the word, and our deeds are here. We're standing here right now. So we're going to go right into it. All right, give me uh, Matthew 24 and 14. Because the words that have been on this earth, if this was, if the words that's been on this earth so, uh, on this earth so far is the truth, we shouldn't be here. If the truth has already been spoken on this earth, we wouldn't be here. Right? And let's, let's prove that. All right? Matthew 24, 14. You got the light? Yeah. yeah. Right. Bring that up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. Read that. And this gospel of the kingdom. This gospel about the kingdom of heaven, about our kingdom, read. Shall be preached in all the world uh -huh. for a witness unto all nations. And every nation on the planet is going to hear this gospel according to this Bible, right? Read. Unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And then what? Shall the end come. So Christianity being on the four corners of the earth. So why are we still here? Give me Lamentations 12 14. What are we still doing here? If Christianity was the truth, so that's why when the brother said that God loved everybody, we, we, we've been hearing that for 50 years. So if God loves everybody, why don't everybody else love everybody? Because it doesn't seem like everybody's loving us. We're on the bottom. We're getting shot down in the street. We're discriminated in the workplace. We're discriminated everywhere on the planet. We're given the lowest jobs. We've given the lowest of everything. So where's the love for our people, right? And if you have, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask at any time, okay? You got that? Bring that out. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 14. Watch this, read. The prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. So the prophets, meaning the Christian pastors, they've seen nothing but vain and foolish things. All they see is the collection plate, read. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. And they have not told us what our sin is to do what? To turn away thy captivity. To do what? To turn away thy captivity. To turn away our captivity. That's how you know that this Bible is only talking to the people that have been in captivity. The people, the forefathers that came over here on slave ships. This Bible is for you, by you, and to you. And the Christian church has never told us, first of all, why only one set of people went into slavery. With all the love in John 3, 16, what about this? Nobody got no answers. All they got is the collection plate. Read on. But have seen for thee false burdens. Have seen for us what? False burdens. So you know what the false burdens is that the Christian that pastor have seen for us? And this is how wicked they are. They tell us if we don't give enough, that's why we haven't gotten enough. Oh, if y'all want to get more blessings, then give more. So what we supposed to give? We already slaved 50, uh, uh, give me lem uh, lem lem lemitations, give me Ecclesiastes uh, 2 and 17. Look how much we work as it is. We work 40, 50 hours a week, we work two and three jobs, and you're telling us if we don't give you more money, that's why we're not blessed? And this is why our people feel like this. You got that? Five. This is why our people feel just like this. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2 and verse 17. Read that. Out. Therefore I hated life. How we feel? Therefore I hated life. Why? Because the work that I wrought is under the sun. It's grievous unto me. So we've been just working and busting our behinds under the sun. Right? And just for our, our Christian pastor to tell us, hey, you better sow a seed. 
but then they're not telling us how do we get out of captivity. First of all, how did, why did we go into captivity? And second of all, how do we get out? Get out. Man, I'm telling you, he is throwing me all the way off. Uh, uh, um, yeah, 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 it, 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 it's, it's going down. Um, what's that scripture again? Matthews, no, Luke 20, no, Luke 12. Uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh 11 and 24. This is the book of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 24. Read that. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, read. He walking through dry places. This is what's going on. He's walking, we are considered the dry bones out here. Right, read. Seeking rest and finding none. He is seeking rest and he's finding none. These are curses and are on our people. Because our people are going crazy out here. Because we're, all we're doing is working, we're not seeing no profit. And it's like, we, 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 we just hate life. Because what do we do? Them bills roll around, you know what I'm saying, every uh, 30 days. And we got a new bill. So what do we do to get out of this? Right now, what you're seeing is the awakening of the chosen people. That's right. Okay. What, what, just up, like from in Adam days, in the Hebrews uh, 11 and 7. Just like in the olden days, the Most High, before he destroyed a place, he always sent his prophets to tell and forewarn his people. And what we're learning is just because we were on the bottom, that doesn't mean we belong on the bottom. We earned our place to the bottom. Nobody's better than us. The white man doesn't have the power to put us on the bottom. We put ourselves on the bottom because we made a blood covenant with our God and we broke it. You got that? Uh, Bring that out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 7. Read that. By faith, Noah, being warned of the most high of things, not seen as yet. That's who we are. We're just like how Noah was. By faith, we're telling our people what they haven't seen yet. What you haven't seen yet is the destruction of this place. And it has to happen. Read on. Moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which the condemned the, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. So we by faith we're we're understanding that this world must be condemned. Because of the treatment of our people. Our people have began to be comfortable in this place. Right? Give me Lamentation 4 and 5. This is the scripture I stole from Girl in Hebrew. <laughs> Give me Lamentation 4 and 5 real quick. <laughs> because we have learned to embrace being on the bottom. Because our people, we can, we can turn, we can make anything, we can make a party out of anything. We could be dead broke and be in a one bedroom apartment with no furniture and still make it comfy. That's exactly what we have done in this kingdom. We have made it our home, but it's not our home. Bring that out. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter four and verse five. Read that. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. So we were the ones that fed delicately. We were God's chosen people, and now we are, de are, are, are desolate in the streets. Read. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dumb hills. What do we do now? Embrace dung hill. So now we embrace the most I call it dung hill. What is, what is a dung hill? A pile of what? That's right. We embrace that now. We call that our hood. We call that little Haiti. We call it little Havana. We call it little Jamaica. We call it the, 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 the hood, the ghetto. And we're proud to be from there. The most I said, the people that I raised up as royalty, scarlet is another word for royalty. You are now embracing dung hills. Wow. Yeah. Sure. So I'm saying, but what you're gonna get is it, it, it's our problem. Our people are disobedient. Give me Ezekiel uh, seven and twenty-three. Jeremiah seven and twenty-three. We we don't want to. We we we're, we're a rebellious people. We always have been. And I'm gonna show you a little history of how our people have always been rebellious. When you get a chance, you read the book of Judges. You'll see us going off time and time again. 
And that's how you know they niggas. That's how you know they niggas. You see what I'm saying? Because nobody would be given such glory and just completely rejected. You got that? Uh, Bring it out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, and verse 23. Read that. But this thing commanded I, them saying, Read. Obey my voice. What did the most I say? Obey my voice. That's what we don't want to be obedient. Read. And I will be your God. And he will what? And I will be your God. The word your. What kind of word is your? He says, if you obey my voice, I will be your God. Read. And ye shall be my people. And you will be his people. Read. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you. Uh -huh. That it may be well unto you. That it may be what? Well unto you. So that it be well unto you. Give me uh, uh, Isaiah 3 and 11. So it will be well unto us if we were just obedient. We would be living... Where, 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 where these so-called white people are living on the beach and all that, that's where we're supposed to be. The most I flipped it around because he said, if you don't want to listen to me, I'm going to make you listen to them. And now these are the people that's guiding us. Okay? His shirt is white, but his neck is red. There's no such thing as a white person on the planet. Oh, yeah. But they told us they white because white means pure. They told us we black because black means like we blacklisted or we you you get the you know what I mean? You got that bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse eleven. So this is the opposite of what would have been well with us. Read. Whoa, unto the wicked. So now instead of it being well with us, now the most high says, Y'all just wicked, man. Destruction unto you. Read. Whoa, unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. Uh, and it'll be well with us. It shall be ill with him. So now he says, well, okay, you don't want it to be well with you. Then I'm going to make it ill with you. We have to understand that our God is a God of judgment. And he is only judging our people. Uh, uh, give me three. Uh, um, was that Joel? Joel? Three and one. Or is it Amos three and one? Amos three and one. I want, we're going to show you that the Most High says, because I only love you, I'm only going to judge you. And the Christian, you've heard more, more scriptures than you hear in, in uh, about 10, two months at church. And they don't tell us who we are. So let's find out a little more about why we're in the position we're in and why we're, we're, we're being dealt with like this. Read that. Bring it out. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. First of all, in the Christian church, I've never heard of the book of Amos. I never even heard of it. Much less read something out of it. I've never heard of Habakkuk. I've never heard of Hosea. I've never heard of Obadiah. Micah. These are major books. Ezra. Read. Hear this word that the Most High has spoken against you, O children of Israel. For you. Against you. To you. Against you. Now he's speaking against us. Read. O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying... What, saying what? You only... Hold on. Before that, you notice he keep referencing to those same children that he brought up out of Egypt. That's how you know that they, they don't teach us nothing past slavery in schools. Right? But now we're finding out that our forefathers were those same people that were brought out of Egypt. Read on. You only. What he say? You only. Us and everybody. You only. You and most people. You only. You and all kind of people. You only. He's saying you only. Read. Have I known of all the families of the earth? Of some of the families of the earth. Of all the families of the earth. Of all the families on the earth. Read. Therefore. Therefore. I will punish you. What? I will punish you. What? I will punish you. Okay. For all your iniquities. You see what I'm saying? So he says, therefore, he will punish you. And that's why we're here today. Okay? Give me Ezekiel uh, 16 and we'll start at 58. But it's not all bad. Because in these last days, the Most High said he's going to wake his people up. He's going to show them their nationality again. And he's going to give them an opportunity to come back. That's what grace is. Christian church tell us, well, with grace, we can just do whatever we feel like. But forever. 
and the most high just gonna love everybody, and then we're gonna go to the cloud somewhere. Right? What are we gonna do up there? God gonna make this beautiful earth for the white man to just destroy, and then we just gonna all parlay up there. Earth, heaven is right here. Okay? Bring that out. Um, 16 and 58. That's what I'm talking about. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and verse 58. Read that. That has borne thy lewdness. So the Most High says, I borne your lewdness. I tolerated it. I took all your sin. Right? Read. And not abominations, said the Most High. And he took our abominations as well, right? Read. For this, thus said the Most High Power. Uh, uh, I, as is. I will even deal with thee as thou hast done. So he dealt with us for what we did. We broke his commandments and he dealt with us. Didn't he deal with us? Um, Ain't this being dealt with? That's right. We got dealt with, right? Read on. Which has despised the oath in breaking the covenant. So we despised the oath and we broke the covenant. So a lot of people like to say, oh, well, God changed his mind about y'all. He don't want y'all no more because y'all despised the oath and y'all broke the covenant. So now God loves everybody. That's a damn lie. Read on. Nevertheless. What? Nevertheless. Say what? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Even though we despised it and we broke it, what did he say? I will remember my covenant with he thee. He said he will remember his covenant with you. Read. In the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. What kind of covenant? An everlasting covenant. A sometime covenant. An everlasting what covenant. What is going to two years? An everlasting covenant. An everlasting covenant. Right? Finish that. Then thou shalt remember thy ways. Then we're going to remember our ways, read. And be ashamed. And we're going to be ashamed because we're going to be like, man, we was wilding out. Man, we wild out. Read. When thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine elder, and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the most high. And then we're going to know that he is the Lord, our God. It is a major thing to know that God chose one set of people. It is an amazing thing. It comes with a lot of responsibility, right? Because we were meant to be royalty on this planet. That's right. Okay? Just like the uh, royal family in England, can they, can they come out the house any kind of way? You ever seen uh, the Queen of England come out in booty shorts? Never seen that, right? Why? Because she's a queen and she has to carry herself, so. Right? Yo, yo, do, do you see uh, Prince Charles walking with his pants sagging? Why not? Because he's a prince. He's royalty. And when you're royalty, you have to carry yourself a certain way. This is what the Most High God requires of us. Give me uh, uh, 19 and 4. He requires for us to carry ourselves a certain way. And once enough, this, this awakening that's happening, it's happening all over the world. These brothers here are from California and Atlanta. This, we, we have summits from, uh, from all over the world. People are waking up because the Most High God said he will wake us up in these last days. And when, and when the time comes, once enough of us has waken up, He's going to come back. He's going to destroy this wicked homosexual kingdom. He's going to destroy two-thirds of our people that don't want to come back. Because God does not break oaths. You got that? Bring it up. Um, 19 and uh, 4. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 4. Read that. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians. So we saw what the Most High did to the Egyptians for the Israelites' sake. He gave them all kind of plagues. He hit, he killed a firstborn. He did that for us. Read. And how I bear you on eagle's wings and brought you unto myself. And he bore us on eagle wings and brought him unto himself. That's a beautiful thought. Read on. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. A peculiar treasure above all people. Read. For all the earth is mine. For all the earth is his. So we're not supposed to just have no one hood. We're not supposed to be in just one corner. 
we're supposed to be in the entire earth. Brother and sister, it was an absolute pleasure speaking to y'all today. Peace, peace. All right, and we're so glad that y'all heard this word together. All right, and uh, 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 we, we have a school. It's on the it's on the flyer. All right, so we invite y'all to come, especially for our holy days. That's a part of our law. And as you wake up and you come back, right? Uh, and I, I want to give you just one more scripture before y'all leave. Give me Hebrew, um, Hebrews, 2 Thessalonians 4 and 1. Give me that real quick before they leave, and then I'm going to drop one more scripture and pass it uh, to the priest. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 4. First Thessalonians. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 1. Read. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren. So we beseech you, brethren. We beseech you, right? Because just like how we call ourselves brothers, brothers was known as black people. Oh, who did that? Oh, uh, who, who got hurt, man? It was a brother. Was it a white person or a brother? It was a brother. So we, we called ourselves brethren in this biblical days, right? Read. And exhort you. And we lift you both up today. That's right. All right. Read. By the most hot book, by Hamashiach Yehoshai, by Lord Jesus. By the Lord Jesus, who is uh, in the Hebrew called Hamashiach Yehoshai. Uh, you'll learn that a little further on as you go along. Read on. That as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk. So you received of us today how you supposed to walk. Right? Read. And to please the most, and to please God. And how to please God. That's what's amazing. We're finally now learning how to please our God. Read. So ye would abound more and more. So as you learn more laws, you will abound more and more. As you learn more, you do more. As you know, you know more, you do better. Okay? And the most high will pardon you, and he will and, and, and y'all have a chance to make this kingdom. And avoid the two-thirds, the fire that's coming to this place. All right? That was my last scripture for y'all. Y'all be safe, all right? Y'all get home. Nice and safe. It was a pleasure.